Canada. Miss Boulder couldn't make it this afternoon, so she asked me to be here to read read you this story. She said something about having to f make a beret? I didn't know what she meant. But anyway, I'm happy to read this story to you. <clears throat> Claude collected his boxes of berries and they set off to find a cafe. Suddenly, a naughty robber in a striped jumper and a mask came running past them, carrying one of the sculptures. Two guards were running after her. Claude's paws were so full of boxes and his brain full of juicy bone baguette that he did not see her. The robber did not see Claude and all his boxes. Bump! Crash! Wallop! Berets exploded everywhere. The robber fell to the ground. The sculpture went flying through the air. Everybody gasped. <gasps> Sir Bobbly Sock felt sick with worry, but... Claude saved the day! Soon the mayor arrived. Claude, you are a hero, he cried. He gave Claude a medal and whisked him and Sir Bobbly Sock off for a slap up dinner. Mm -mm. Back in the kitchen of Mr and Mrs Shiny Shoes house, Claude and Sir Bobbly Sock snuggled down in their beds. Claude closed his beady eyes. A little later on, Mr and Mrs Shiny Shoes came home from work. Where on earth does this medal come from? asked Mrs Shiny Shoes. Do you know anything about this, Claude? Look, he's fast asleep, laughed, mi laughed Mr Shiny Shoes. We'll have to find out in the morning. And that is the end of part one. Hopefully Miss Bowler will be back soon. Um, she said she wouldn't be long. So 